Okay, hello my lovely Algebra 2 student. Today I'm going to use this guitar picture as my polynomial. So I have it on my desktop and now I'm going to open Desmos. Let's start a new Desmos. So we can say start graphing. And then we're going to go over here to add item and we're going to put our image in. It's from the desktop, so we can say on the desktop, pick the image, and it'll put it right in for us. And now it can be whatever size you want. And then we can move it so we have some nice points, right? So we want, let's make this turning point happen at 0, 4, and the rest look okay. So now we're going to come to the add item again and say a table and then we can add our points so if we are at 0 4 here we'll put 0 4 and then our next point could be negative 2.5 and 3 and then we'll go with negative 5 and 3.5 for our last turning point. And then we're also going to put in some zeros. So let's use 2.5 0 as our 1 0 and negative 7.5 0 as our other one. So just by looking at this, we can tell it's even, right? And it's pointing down because as the ends go down, it's going to go to negative infinity. So we can come here and say y1, and then we're going to put a tilde. So remember I was saying that's when you hold down shift and hit the, the button right under your escape button. And if you can't find it, just Google the word, word tilde, and I'm sure something will pop up that you could copy and paste. And then you're going to say AX1. And since we think this is obviously an even degree, but it is um, not a quadratic. So we can say, let's try to the fourth power. And then we're going to keep putting in neutral coefficients like a b c d and x1 for each term so now we need a quadratic term then we need an x term and last we need oh and you have to put in x1 each time because it corresponds to this x1 in your table and then we'll put a constant so then this is, these are our coefficients for our quartic polynomial, right? And then it shows us our graph. So now let's round our coefficients so that they're easy to deal with. So we could say negative 0 0.01 and x to the fourth. B is negative 0 0.1 x to the third c is negative 0 0.32 let's give two decimal points for everything this is x squared our d is 0 0.23 x and then our k is plus 4 So this is obviously too rounded, so we got to figure out which one needs to be rounded a little bit better. Okay, so this could be closer to 3. And let's make it, let's make it 2. So now we have a nice polynomial we can work with, and we rounded to the nearest 
two decimal places. Let's round to the nearest three just to make it a little bit more accurate. Okay, so there's our polynomial. And then this is the polynomial you use to evaluate the like identity set, identification set that's due on Monday. So if we just look at the one we just made, right, our end behavior as x goes to negative infinity, y is going down, so it's going to negative infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, y is going down also, so it's going to negative infinity. We have zeros here, we have turning points here, right? We have some maxes, some min, some y-intercepts, and you guys can figure out the rest for your individual polynomial. So I hope this was helpful. Good luck.